right, continuing where we left off, we were advancing. Now I try, I'm, I'm trying to do something to reduce the clicking noise. <laughs> I have actually a blanket on my lap that over the, over the over the controller, so this could be awkward. The things I do for love. Whoop! I'm bumping into shit though. And yes, big scary thing. Must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. No, Jet buddy. But you're well. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Caleb. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. Yay, karma. We Side point unlocked. Alright. Cool. Oh, oh. Spinny camera. Oh, okay. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. One more thing. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. Okay, I guess we're heading Marines that way. The conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the Tree of Life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Okay, so we I guess we gotta I guess it goes without saying if this is the good guy playthrough, we gotta go with the good guys to the right. So we can I set waypoint? Place waypoint in there. Alright. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? Well, that goes without saying. Well, if you want to go with the goody goody two shoes ones, which I guess I'm doing. An alliance. It's time to make a choice. It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. Hmm. Oh. Off the beaten path. Take a look at side powers. There we go. Blaze. 
Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Blink. He's blink. What is that? Like a teleport? Oh, that's useful too. This one's like a dash too. I'll probably go blaze. Is this all the side powers? Well, hopefully there's more than just this. Though they all are pretty interesting. Let's bind it to that. There you go. Let's try it out. Woo! That's one hot potato. What the? I don't know who's good, who's evil. I'm just getting involved for no reason. <laughs> it's like samurais. Woo! There's some saucy shit right here. I don't know whose side I helped, but whatever. They look more evil than uh, the other ones. Seems like... Didn't mind, there's no, like, alliance thing? Like, you help the whatever alliance! This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now, it's a war zone. Well, it looks like they picked up on how we do war. These animals. They have trenches. You know, the foxholes or whatever. One day I will not know tribe's oh. fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Wow. Beautiful. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Hey guys, oh, you are the of my tribe. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Figures the Sifu would be interested in seeing you. They come before you. I don't know what voice to give this guy. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons. The boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, 
and the hook and chain. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the World Eaters to save the Tree of Life. He was hoping you'd join them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. That Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor. And with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Ooh, outpost claiming. All right. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Hello? He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. I have to say, the bad guys look like they have cool attire. They're all samurai-like. Oh, well, it's a little late now. I guess I'm going with the turban guys. You have things to do. Places to go to. Says you. Uh, okay, there wasn't much for that. But I guess that can always be either another character or if this game has New Game Plus, do that. Ooh, pretty. Obviously, this is a bit more of the, uh, I want to say like Indian style, I guess. That's kind of like what their setting here is. Or uh, what do you call it? Muslim? And there's a better word for it. There's a better culture I can think of. This is not coming up. Oh, loot. Yes, loot. Lousy rock hardened twin clamp. Is that a weapon? Oh, it's armor. Oh, or a piece for armor. Or something. Hey, buddy. Shine's happy that the Myriad can count on a friend as bright as you. Hopes to see you again soon. It's kind of weird how we have the, have the narrator. Says it's about time you figured out you can't avoid helping anymore. Wishes you goodbye. Okay. Cool. Oh, ooh. little ninja moving over. Is it? Sparkles about how brilliant it is to have someone like you that shares both genetics and karma in the myriad spectrum. Hope to see you again, Sinia. I guess we could skip that. What about you, buddy? You just say the same thing. Wonders why you can't see how pointless all your efforts are. Oh, oh someone's hopeless. Understand? Yeah, whatever. Ooh. Kind of looking about. Or cut this out if I see nothing. But it is a nice scenic area. If I ever retread this area, I'll cut shit. I won't even talk about it. Can I loot these? 
Oh, there's someone here. Done with the octopod by now. You should go see him. Uh, oh, I was talking like I'm talking to a bush. That was weird. I can't help it though. I can't help but living near a uh, active road. Oh, heading down there. Okay. Oh, I guess I never marked this area. Time to pee. Take a pee. Oh man, that that's some nuclear Let's piss. See. There's something in here. Ooh, lousy. Take it. I'm gonna take it regardless. Small health pack. That's cool. Another thing. <gasps> Can I wear that? I'm not sure how I feel about it. Is it only aesthetic? We can just take keep that off now. I like his cute little ears. Oh, whoa, what, what? Huh. Can I just jump down? Oh. Okay. So we're now rolling up on the bridge. Anything gonna happen here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Get wrecked. What's my inventory anyways? Do I have space? That's an issue. Seems like that's not the case. Space is not the case. Better beware, that's a monk. Uh oh. They were hit hard by evolution. The one can He's a big boy. Sure. Yeah, a little bit of that action there. Get burned, bish. I really do like I invested on the fire. It's working quite wonderfully. Oh, shit. Now oh, he's starting to hit me. Like a badass. Can I loot your ass? Ooh. Delicious. And a dumpster. Uh, okay. Is it better? I'll take it regardless. Ooh, pills. Okay. What happened to you, buddy? What happened to you? You were one of ours. You were one of mine. And there's another thing here. And a dumpster. more stuff? No? Alright, so I guess there's all there was to that.
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Alright, let's mark our little territory as we do with our nuclear piss. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Uh, yay. Does that mean I can fast travel there? Yeah, I got this one. I can fast travel that. Oh, they're like little little blips on the radar. Okay, they're not big obnoxious tabs or whatever. Cutscene. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Oh, we're having a flashback. Well, I guess that's why... ...of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who Goop. takes each day as it comes. I did that work. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Why not? There's no better time to do what needs to be done than right now. Alright, swimming lesson, I guess. The most waters. Yeah, I'm swimming! Yeah! Okay, I can jump in water. Swim back to goop. Oh. Oh, my energy! Yeah, I realize. I wonder what happens if my energy runs out. Would I just drown? He says that wasn't too bad, was it? Least I learned how not how to not swim. <laughs> Way to go! Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Judging by your Moomer's look, it seems you forgot something. Tukonda. You promised you'd train with her. Oh, the they actually Sunday. made her resemble. It's time to go. The only difference is she's not vividly as blue. I wonder if they fade the colors for age. That's this is really interesting. Okay, I uh, lost track of time. You know you can't make up for lost time. You should know. Practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. Yeah, I acknowledge that form of creative. That this is actually really cool. She actually has like a big head and all that. Everything like matches. She just said <laughs> the different a character. Familiar face with lots on his mind. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Oh, how about that glowing light right here? I guess we gotta keep QT in garbage. It's starting to feel like an MMO, I don't know. He wonders what usefulness you found. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. He says only a few are willing to do the little things, but if you make enough of them, they can have a big impact too. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. Ooh, crafting. Interesting. Heart bat. Can I create this stuff now? <gasps> that one looks like a katana. But I guess these are like, maybe what would be best to be uh, the melee I've been using? 
Oh, a stabby. It looks like a sigh. That looks cool. I mean, I'm going by looks right now. Armor pierce. What's its attack? A banana. <laughs> a banana. Or a banana. Oh my god, this is comedy. Okay, uh. Critical chance is higher on that one. I'll probably just go with this. Whatever. Yay, a sigh. Clencher stabby. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. Sorry, Muma. She doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. That's all she's ever asked of you. That you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Okay, so we head over here now. Can I? Oh, yay! Is this a weapon I'm gonna have all of a sudden? They look deterred. Uh oh. Better watch out. Bullies! He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. It's a hard enough life as a little pipsqueak. I'm late for training. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. Why are you pushing others down? They push each other to become better, and sometimes someone gets pushed down along the way. Ah, uh, oh, that was weak. Okay. Damn it, I'm getting bullied. Hey, you little bastard. Oh, damn. I might actually lose this. They have a lot of health. Damn it. I have to, like, split section react shit. Uh, I can't win. I think, are you supposed to lose? But I guess you could beat them. I just didn't try hard enough. <laughs> My toy. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? If confidence is silent and insecurity is loud, she thinks you're absolutely right. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. I failed. I don't have the stuff. Did I have psi powers? No, I don't. I don't have the things I would have now. Maybe because everything ranges from being puny to huge. Someone close to heart, doing what he does best. Diava. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. He wishes that was true for your Muma too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu to her disciples seems more important for every day. Some. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. 
You guys got grass growing in your house? The upkeep here is terrible. Letting grass grow in your house? That's a dirt pile. He's curious to see what you found. Something familiar to renew! He's all for renewal, and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. Tariman. He says what? it's about time you learned how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. Refresh your DNA is a, a line that you probably need to be careful using. Coil spike, sure. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, it was done. I put a spike to the front. The style might be too edgy for his taste. <laughs> it's sharp on you. You should take it with you. Wear it to practice. I just put a fucking screw through the front. Looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. What? You don't say. All right. If you say so. Oh, it's not. Give me. Do I not have gear options as a kid? Yeah. Whatever. Maybe I'll show up in my inventory as an adult. Oh yeah, this thing, this stupid thing I put a screw through. Hey, that door's open now. Mama! I missed you! Your Mooma says it's about time you got here. I'm easily distracted. I'll work on that. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. Your Mooma that was wholesome. Well today. She's so proud of you. Thank you, Mooma. Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Ooh. Okay. Origin of the grasshopper robot. I get you. I'm gonna have to triangle. Interact. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. A piece of scraptronics like this has built in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. That's good if anything bad happens. You're lucky to have such a fine helper with you. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. But what a day it's been! She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop Luka Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. Okay, well, burnt that escalated quickly. To dread fire. Shit. That's just adding fuel to the flames. I wasn't expecting. Okay, circle again. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. The uh, mission accomplished. Your 
Poor Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Looper Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Umbro? Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Here it comes. The past coming to hold the present. Oh shit! Just a little childling with little childling punches. Right. Jeez, do we have to really whittle down this health? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Punch him in the spinal column. Must go through fire and water to make it out of here. No. Your Mooma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. Uh, uh. Swim. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Oh, can I control her? Do we have to press circle again on events? Oh, here we go. QT time. Oh, yeah. Can I just swim? Or do I swim to you first? That would probably be best. There's no QT on that one. Oh no. Wait, is she gonna drown already? <laughs> what the hell? She's dropped. She's sinking like a stone. Really? Mooma! Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. That was one. De that's one determined monkey. For fuck's sake! I just singled out these motherfuckers to As murder. The fades and is lost. The only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. I was trying to be trying to be dramatic until the tutorial occurred. Well then. That's about the I think that's a good episode to call it on the on that, right? Right? Like, comment, and subscribe, please. That'd be awesome. That'd be fucking awesome. If you want to see more of this, don't be afraid to comment about that. I mean, I'm probably gonna play it regardless. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoying it too. Unlike how I was in the past, I'm staying silent during cutscenes and being respectful to the game. Honestly, I, I, I am captivated by it. So I'm staying sound for my own sake, too. So, uh, 
Peace.